Case in point, this is kind of demonic. And by kind of, I mean very. Welcome back to another installment of whatever the heck it is I'm trying to do. Uh, make it on YouTube. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, I guess that is essentially what I'm gonna do. I'm not even gonna try to argue it, but. Anyways, this is gonna be one of those videos where we kind of react to things together or you re-react with me if you've already reacted to it or I'm kind of re-reacting because I've already seen the information, whatever, whatever. So first and foremost, I just wanna point out the fact that I still have a Christmas tree up and um, it is mm, beyond mid-January at this point. So please don't judge me. Don't be coming for me for that. It's fine. It looks beautiful. Does it not look beautiful? It looks beautiful. So we're gonna leave it a little longer. It's not totally dead. This is gonna be kind of short and sweet and to the point. I just kind of wanted to react to what I saw. For those of you who do not know, MGK, AKA Machine Gun Kelly, and Megan Fox, kind of the it couple of our day for now. I mean, until another one comes in and just totally blows them out the water. For those of you who are just kind of like scratching your head, like, why do you know about this information? And you shouldn't even care. You're a Christian. Have your head in the spiritual sand, sister. You don't need to be following Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox and Kim and Kanye and Pete. Listen, this is the world we live in. And I believe that as a Christian, it is my duty to speak into things that are very public that the world knows about. Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox, they are engaged. Congratulations to the lovely couple. And I was reading, I was reading Megan Fox's post about, I was reading it in an article. So I wasn't like actually on Instagram. I was reading her post in an article that someone else produced. It like caught my eye. It was like, ever I said yes now in this life and the next and every life before and every life after this. And then she said afterwards, and then we drank each other's blood. I said, what? But I, I also wasn't that surprised because it is Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly. And they're kind of like, extra with that stuff. They're pretty eccentric with their love. They be kind of OD with things like chaining each other to each other's nail, like at a red carpet event. So then I saw headlines that said Megan, Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly made a blood oath after the proposal. So I'm just like, okay, that seems like a very Megan Fox MGK type of thing to do. But like, what is that? Is that there's a part of me that's like, oh, is that like cute? And wow, they're just, it, it represents their covenant and their promise promise to each other slash I think it's like maybe maybe it's a little showy because like I don't know they're kind of trying to be the it couple they are but I think they're also trying to play into that you know what I mean but then there's another part of me too that's like I feel like that's demonic <laughs> is that is that them trying to display their covenant or are they just trying to be cute or is this legit a satanic ritualistic type of deal? I did some research and this is what I found and I'll quickly show you guys. I'm gonna have to adjust this microphone really quickly. Hold on. I did a little research and here's what I found on Blood Oath and it's actually a little creepy and it makes me feel kind of weird, but basically a blood oath is a sacred promise between two participants following an exchange of blood. Typically it is done between two parties to avoid complicating measures, um, blah, blah, blah. Okay. It is a rare magic in current time as it is risky and prone to backfire if the oaths are not worded specifically enough. It also requires, this is a little creepy, it also requires someone able to speak demon whether that is someone observing or a member of the ritual themselves. Case in point, this is kind of demonic and by kind of I mean very. It's definitely not something to keep to be cute and it's definitely not something that I would recommend. So I guess just as a Christian I'm just like I don't again I don't know if they're just trying to be extra with it if they're just trying to be like cute about it like what this is exactly if it if it was kind of you know it's an, an uninformed blood oath and they're just you know i love you so much like here's my blood drink it or if they were intentionally they fully knew like what this is and it was full-on demonic whatever i don't know all i know is that it's not necessary when i think about this type of thing i think about the fact that the devil always be trying to steal god's ideas when jesus died on the cross he shed his blood for us and it was a covenant God made with us. It was not one we were making with him. Like he did it all for us. He gave it all. He paid it all. He did it. And so a lot of people can come out and say, well, isn't Christian, Christianity kind of, it is kind of has these cannibalism aspects to it because y'all be eating Jesus's body br represented by bread and y'all be drinking his blood represented by wine and or juice. That's another topic, whatever. <laughs> the life of the flesh is in the blood. So Jesus had to give his life, shed his blood as a payment. The difference between 
between the devil and God is that we drink the blood of Jesus to remember the sacrifice he made for us on the cross. When you're trying to make a blood covenant with another person or another demon, you have to uphold everything. You have to uphold it or you are in basically deep doo-doo if you keep reading that. It goes on to like talk about repercussions and the seriousness of it and da 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 So this, like this whole thing about a blood oath and whatever, I mean, I think it's silly. I think it's definitely unnecessary. I think it's kind of creepy, but it's mostly just silly. It's mostly just silly. It's not anything that I would ever obviously participate in nor would I ever encourage anyone to do so. I think too, just remembering the blood of Christ and remembering that his blood is enough. And so like, I don't have to make a blood covenant or a blood oath with anybody. We don't have to make one with God. He gave everything. We owe him everything. All he asked for in return is our hearts. Just give me your heart and let me make you into somebody new and beautiful and everything you were meant to be in this life. I'd like to end this video. I feel like this video is a little sporadic and a little bit like off the cuff because well, it is. I read that, I wanted to react to that, kind of expose what a blood oath is and it's just demonic nonsense that is not necessary for your life. It's not necessary at all, period. Like it is not necessary to do. Yes, BS and your no be no, you don't mean to make a freaking blood oath to anybody. And then two, like, again, I have no idea what Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox's intentions were in drinking each other's blood after they were proposed, after they got engaged or before, I don't know, whatever. But at the end of the day, whether their intentions were, were to perform a full on demonic ritual or to just to be cute, at the end of the day, what truly matters is celebrities, you know, they're very influential people. And I think it's just super important to keep them in your prayers. Bottom line, some of you might think that's laughable. I really don't care, go ahead and laugh. I think it's really important to pray for people of influence, pray for people who are in power, pray just and, and just pray for them in general because they're humans made in the image of God that need prayer, that need to know Christ, that even though their lives might look a type of way on the surface, they, they are a soul that will not know life, will not know the true meaning, will not experience fullness of joy, fullness of peace and purpose and life everlasting until they know Jesus Christ. And it, yes, I would say, I would agree that it's probably a little bit more difficult when you're submerged in the industry of Hollywood and that world system, it's it's quite a mountain to be moved, but God can do anything. And I just choose to have childlike faith and say, God can save Megan Fox, God can save MGK. God can save these crazy celebrities, like whatever, that be doing blood oaths and drinking each other's blood. Pray for them, pray for them. I, I, and that's it. I think that's really all I have to say in regards to it. Pray for the celebrities. Don't do a blood oath, it's not necessary. And drink Jesus's blood. The only blood that you need is the blood of Christ. So go ahead and drink that in remembrance of him. Go ahead and break that body, that bread, and eat it in remembrance of the brokenness that he endured in order to obtain us into life everlasting. Starting now, not just in heaven. That's not all it's about. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions, whatever, in the comments below. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I think I already said that. Please, if you would, make sure to subscribe, like, comment. Sorry. Ew, ew. And if you could do me a huge solid by subscribing to this channel, liking this video, leaving, dropping a comment, give me feedback or videos or topics you would like to see covered that we can literally just talk about together, react to together, then I would love to hear that. I want to hear from people. I want to hear from humans, not just haters. So I love you guys. Have a great rest of the day. God bless. And hopefully the next time I see you, that Christmas tree will be taken down or by a floor lamp. Okay, amen. Peace.